visit S M I T H E R E E N S Smithereens. That is correct. Yes, this is a spelling bee, and yes, a student of South Asian origin is the winner, but no, this is not America. This is Bangladesh, located right next to India, a country of 155 million, roughly 20% of whom can speak some English, less than 10% are fluent. But as the country has opened its doors to globalization, fluency in English has become crucial for professional success. The problem is, you know, uh, this realization, the need for English, a student or a person uh, realize a little later. So they don't understand the importance of English during their school age because they don't have a GPA. So when the issue is coming for a higher education and moving for a career, at that point of time, they realize the need for education. That's unfortunate. Second buzzword. And that's where the spelling bee steps in. In a nation with Bengali as its official language, it is their goal to help students want to master English before it's too late. That is correct. Ten points for you. The bee was started in 2012 and quickly gained popularity in a country where American programs are a national pastime and English almost an aspirational brand. <laughs> Bangladesh is one of just a handful of countries that host a national spelling bee. It drew nearly 100,000 applicants in its first year and more than 200,000 in its second. Though inspired by its American namesake, it is adapted for a 30-episode TV series. It's Outrun. O-U-T-R-U-N. Outrun. That is correct. Whoa! In the American spelling bee, the we only had to spell words. While in the Bangladesh spelling bee, we also had to spell words and we had to arrange them in different ways. So it also worked on our reflexes and it also required hand eye coordination. Bangladesh has three basic types of schools. Those that teach in English tend to be expensive and are a minority. Those that teach in Bengali, the majority. And the mother says schools that focus on teaching about Islam and also teach in Bengali. Schools in the capital city Dhaka are now creating training programs specifically for the bee. To spelling bee, it's like you look at the competition and you get to know more words and then you get more like into it and you want to join the competition and like win something for your parents. The winnings aren't too shabby. 500,000 taka, or about 6,500 U.S. dollars worth of education insurance and a trip to Washington, D.C. with a parent. Now the big prize. Sakib Alim, first runner-up in 2013, said just participating had its own perks. Since it was a reality show, I was always surrounded by lights, cameras, so all the attention that was being focused onto me made me feel like a celebrity. Nearly 75% of spelling bee applicants come from schools that teach in Bengali, but most of the students who make it to the televised rounds are from the English schools. As the bee grows along with the country's hopes and dreams, the organizers are hoping that will change. Meanwhile, the goal is to give the six finalists a library for their schools. The books, of course, would be in English.